What's up guys, it is Lightcom here, we are back with yet another trophy video on the channel and today we're going to be continuing on with the idea of video in which I have made on the channel. If you haven't already checked it out, feel free to check it, but essentially we definitely made a couple of million flux. Feel free to see what the exact amount was in approximately 10 minutes or so just by using this really epic gardening method. And in this video, I am going to be clarifying a couple of questions that you guys have been asking, especially those questions about how can you actually, you know, can you actually make a step-by-step -step guide to how you can actually achieve these and stuff like how can you actually get the recipes how can you actually complete all of the gardening levels we're gonna get into that in this video and I will be showing you guys what these golden watering cans as well as these other cans will do it as well so as you can see right here there are gonna be three different benches in which you will require it is going to be the harvesting station the compost and the gardening bench so of course through the gardening bench, you'll definitely require this gardening bench in order to, you know, complete and craft a couple of these seeds in which we do have the moonlight tempers and moonlight bulbs to so actually craft a couple of these. So we're, we will get right into that in a second. But essentially, if you don't already have your gardening skill to a level of 300, all you will do is craft 50 of each of these levels. So you're going to craft 50 of this, probably 50 of these as well, going to be relatively cheap. 50 of this as well and 50 of some of these stuff I guess maybe one of these maybe one of these but essentially you've got to craft 50 of each level to actually unlock the next so once you've got all of that done you'll be able to get a couple of these um, recipes as you can see we've got the crystal R crop seed the mastery points will be from actually obtaining these recipes in which let's just take a look how can you actually get these recipes as we head on over into the harvesting station right here you will be able to see that we will get the so-called alchemy plant seed recipes we also will get concentrated compost which will be necessary to craft all of these seeds as you can see right here we've got the cinnabar we've got the moonlight bulbs and the concentrated compost stuff for each and every one of these stuff doesn't matter which ones you're definitely going to need the compost for almost all of them so actually how do you get these other than you know opening these compost heaps well you can't these are the only ways that you'll be able to receive the recipes as well as receive the moonlight tempers which will be from this quality compost tap in which will also give you a couple of concentrated compost as well and alchemy plant re seed recipes and this one will give you as i said earlier concentrated compost and alchemy plant seed recipes as well as give you this golden pitcher plant let's take a look golden pitcher which will be quite an expensive amount as of right now 11,000 flux not really insanely expensive but decently enough to actually harvest each. Each time you harvest one, you'll actually receive one of these golden watering cans, but that will be for some other time. Now, with that being said, we do not have enough of these. We're gonna be crafting a couple of these golden soul flower seeds, but I guess we're going to have to open up a couple of these compost boxes in which I will open up this quality compost tab. Now, you're gonna be wondering, where do I actually receive these organic refuse? and these quality organic refuses of course we're going to head on over into the compost bench and we're going to be composting the eyes of qb flues in order to receive the compost as you can see in the bottom corner right there it is going to show that we're going to be able to get 90,000 compost but of course we won't need a compost as of right now but you will also be able to harvest these plants as you can see right now we have got oak plants that we have in which will be able to be looted into the second tier of compost in which is also known as the quality organic refuse in which can be collected from the gardening 1.0 plants as you can see right here the cabbage seeds the unicorn chards and i don't even know what other onion nito plant, and purple and i also want to reiterate the fact that i said in the last video that gathering day actually affects the gardening 2.0 plants so essentially that was a little bit of a mistake on my part because gardening 2.0 does not get affected by tuesday's gathering day bonus so if you're watching this video now you know so the more you know right 
But essentially, let's head on over into this harvesting station. We're gonna craft as much as we can, although it's gonna require a ton of glim. We'll still do it anyway. So of course, we're gonna be spamming these boxes open as quick as we can since we're not gonna try and waste time. There we go, we've gotten a couple of rare stuff already, we're getting a ton of concentrated compost as you've seen. And we are also receiving each and every one of these recipes right here. We've got the cultivated day drop seed recipe, we're getting a ton of these moonlight tempers as you'll be able to see as well. So there we have it, we have completed 200 and now we've received the cultivated day drop seed. So essentially you'll actually be able to receive these day drop seed recipes, all of the recipes actually just from opening up these compost tabs. And we're gonna craft the last one required. So as you can see, they are going to be in your build section. We've got two golden pitcher plant seeds that we actually received from the compost tabs. And we've got these 45 golden soul flower seeds. Now what I would like to recommend you guys is to always craft at a multiple of 9. So as you can see 45 is going to be a multiple of 9 because you are going to be placing these plants in 3x3 three three plots in which will allow you to maximize the amount of these um, golden watering cans that you actually use. Right here as you can see as I've shown you in the earlier videos of course we are going to be placing these golden soul seeds like this we're gonna place them in three by three rows as i've said earlier and to maximize the placements we are going to clump them up relatively close to each and every one of them so now with this out of the way we will be able to move on to the next step in which is going to be one of the most important parts when it comes to gardening it is using the insta growers and the golden watering can of course, I'm going to show you what these actually does, but let's just put this in our hotbar real quick. And as we step right here into the middle of these plots, we're going to be able to use this. And as you can see, a little bit of plant stuff just comes out of it. The soil just moves and that shows you which plants will actually be sprouted. So let's actually use this and sprout the plants and avoid waiting for four hours because you're definitely going to have to wait for a total of four hours in order for the plants to sprout. And with this, we will be ready to water these plants. So let's head on over here and we will do the same as well to actually sprout each and every one of these plants. There we go. So now we will be able to water them. As you can see, these plants will take a total of 15 days to actually wither once we have them placed down. However, it isn't really the best time for me to place the plants because it will be a total of another two days and a couple of hours until I will be able to get a harvest from them. So there is going to be a global timer for this. So make sure that you actually put down your plants, I guess, uh, a couple of hours before the reset happens and before the harvest time is actually up. So essentially if this timer is shown ready to be harvested in let's say 4 hours then you can actually just place down your plants and get these golden watering cans going as you can see right here which will completely water these plants. As you can see the water level will be 0 out of 3 and once we actually use this golden watering can it will essentially water each and every plant that we have here and they will be ready to be harvested in 2 days and 38 minutes. So if this timer shows 2 days right now it will show 2 days on this one as you place them. So that is what I've been saying about the global timer. If this is going to show you one day or if this shows you eight hours and if you get a new plant going like what I just did, it will show you eight hours. So that's pretty simple. So I would suggest you guys to plant these at the last minute because if you've got a golden watering can, it doesn't really matter. However, if you are going to not use the golden watering can, I guess you could probably save a couple of days when it comes to watering your plants. So let's just take a look and do this everlasting watering can. As you can see, this golden soul flower will be ready to be watered in 2 days and 37 minutes. And we have got the water level to 1 over 3. So if you want to speed up the process, of course, use this golden watering can in which will finish up the watering right now. In which will be ready for harvest in a total of 2 days and a couple of minutes. So let's just use this golden watering can on each and every one of these plants because it will actually save you I guess two harvests if I'm not mistaken it can actually save you two separate harvests in which will definitely be well worth it for your money. 
So with that out of the way, I guess that is definitely going to be it about how I make my flux. This is what I actually do to set up my gun, but essentially all you gotta get is the concentrated compost, you're gonna get the moonlight bulbs which can be found in any uber world or any essentially any adventure world. You can just find them lying around and be sure to check out the couple of videos that I've made about gardening in the past because those videos are definitely going to help out as well. So now you actually know what the golden washing can as well as the insta grower does as well as how you can actually receive these day drop seeds these alchemy plant seeds and all of the other recipes that you will need in order to get these seeds planted so i guess that's going to be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed and learned a thing or two about how i make my millions of flux intro feel free to check out the last video that i actually made on the channel to see how much i actually made in 10 minutes yes 10 minutes of harvesting and i guess that's going to be it for this video i will see you guys in the next video peace out